In front of me, I have a rather rare element uh, called terbium. It's not that rare uh, as the case with uh, most other rare earths. Uh, it's found in nature uh, aplenty, um, but uh, it's, it's rare definitely in the terms of uh, it being available uh, to the public or in, in manufactured products, obviously. You're not going to find anything made out of terbium metal. Uh, this is a very pure 99.6, I want to say, 99.8% pure. Uh, comes from China, as pretty much all other rare earth metals do, except uh, it's a little bit of gadolinium uh, we buy from Russia. Uh, but uh, terbium is... Uh, a, a rare earth metal that does not really tarnish in open air. It's stable. You can keep it like this. Uh, it's not a soft metal. Uh, it's You're not going to be able to cut a piece like this with uh, pliers for, for sure. It's it's medium hard. It, I wouldn't say it's uh, any harder than other metals, but it's certainly not soft. Uh, people tend to think that uh, it is a soft metal, and it isn't. Uh, it is, however, quite pricey. Terbium is used mostly for uh, electronics. Uh, I believe it's uh, there's a lot of uh, need for it in making LCD panels because uh, the oxides uh, are give a, a certain color. I believe it's green, and this is why you uh, pay a lot of money for this. Also, because it's very difficult to. Uh, separate from the other rare earth metals that you tend to find it in. So beautiful, expensive metal uh, makes for a nice curiosity to have some of this. Uh, you can find some at our website, luciteria.com. Anyway, this is Raciel for Luciteria, uh, a little bit about terbium metal. Thank you.